Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Hands On Business Analytics. In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to use Auth Explorer to create a search engine. So, if you have successfully installed uh, Auth Explorer, you should be able to you should be able to log in. And when you come to this page, I just uh, log in as default administrator, and then. Uh, the way to uh, to create a search engine is first uh, just create a project, and we come to this project tag, and uh, this shows all the current projects I've created. So uh, as a test, I just uh, create um, a project as a, as, a, as a demo, and I give the name. Uh, okay, test. Uh, Project. Then add it. So now I have successfully created a, a project. So in this project, I want to create a search connection for this project, and then I come to this page, this tag, and then here are all the search engines I've uh, ever uh, uh, created before. And in order to create a search engine, just click this plus icon, and then give the name. Um, okay, uh, test uh, engine, and then I just I'll just leave it as a default. Uh, no other settings needed. So click on add, and then here. I come to this page. So uh, let me first introduce uh, uh, what, what concept. This concept. So here, uh, I just. So what, what is a seed? A seed is a uh, any location that your application uses a starting point for indexing local or remote data. So it's it basically uh, it basically means for you to connect to see a, a URL or website, etc. So you need first create a seed in order to use it, and uh, uh, so what is a search connection? Uh, a search connection is basically uh, consists consists of indexes and related data. So it creates indexes for for your seed, and and it is uh, created when this when the seed is first uh, crawled. So a seed is just like a connection to a, a, a website. And when the seed is created, a search connection is created automatically after the seed is crawled, and in, and will be automatically indexed. So uh, it can also be updated based on a predefined schedule, as it was as will be shown later. And after this process, uh, a, a source will be created subsequently. Uh, so it is basically makes your query easier to implement. Okay. So these are basic concepts, and now let's come to uh, the seed section. So now I will create a seed. Basically, I'll, I'll create a seed for URL, and I'll add it. So when you come to this page, you should uh, give a URL of the seed. And here I use example of uh, of IA and A website. So I'll just copy and paste it here, and then we should go to here. I'll just leave it as default, and the maximum number of hops means that uh, the number of times, the maximum number of times you wish to uh, the the you wish to crawl and uh, to jump uh, mm, between different websites. You see, the website has uh, many links to other websites, so. Uh, it means the number of times you wish to jump to other websites. Okay, so here I just defined as a two maybe as an example, and no other setting needed. So I just click uh, OK. So here I've just created a seed, and we come to the overview, overview tab. You can see that here is the seed I've just created, and um, now I can start crawling this website and indexing indexed it. So I just click on start. 
So now it starts to uh, crawl the website, and uh, because this website is relatively um, okay, sorry guys. So because this website is basically um, not not the volume is not small, so uh, I'll just uh, stop it here because I've already um, done it just now. And now I just just uh, stop the crawler. As you can see. So let me go to the uh, to the search connections and uh, show all my search engines. Get started. So this is the search engine I've created before. As you can see, I've added this. Uh, URL in my uh, in my seed, and I've already crawled it before. So uh, it took me over one hour to crawl this website with two hops. So uh, you can see, and uh, it takes a relatively long time. And after you have created this uh, uh, search engine and crawl the website, the next thing you need to do is to uh, to test it. Um, before you test it. Uh, just go to let me see the configuration part overview part. Um, just go to the management tab and come to the services. So here you need to make sure that uh, so, uh, the the search engine part is running. The the service for the search engine part is running. So just click on start. And it will run the service for you. And here, the scheduler uh, is what I've just talked about. It basically gives a uh, gives you a schedule to update the seed with uh, according to the uh, website. Uh, so it's so updated constantly according to your predefined schedule. And after you have uh, uh, started service, come to the configuration page, and then. Um, for 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 the project you've created, you need to uh, you need to change the source to uh, you need to change the source to the search engine, so that when you search for a certain um, certain information, it will find the uh, it will, will find the information through this search engine. Okay, and now let's uh, come to the uh, project I've just created. Uh, so now I use the use the projects I've created before. Its name is uh, Query Meta, and it basically has a has a search engine. The name I just shown before. So I've added I've already added it to, uh, as my as my uh, search engine. So in order to test the project, I will just click on the Query Meta as my is my project name, and I'll type in whatever message I want to search. So let's come to this uh, original website. So if, for example, I want to uh, search, uh, for example, coordination of uh, maybe DNS routes I will be addressing, just example, copy it and paste it in my search. Then just search it. So it will return all the information relevant to this uh, search engine. Uh, which basically means a website, and then give you will give you the all the relevant results. So it's kind of a um, optimized uh, QMA uh, software, and uh, this is pretty pretty much of it. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, thank you very much.